Hello, my name is Lee. I am a text-to-speech voice of the PTX One Daisy player. I will be taking you through the start of this simple guide before you get to hear from a real person. On the surface, to some people I can look quite complicated with lots of buttons to confuse you, but with my cover on I am really simple and friendly. It just depends on who and how you want to use me. I can play a number of different formats such as Daisy Books, MP3 files, commercially available audiobooks, standard audio music CDs. I am a bit of an Elvis Presley fan by the way. I can also read text files as well as Microsoft Word doc files. I can not only read different formats, but I can use different media as well. I can use a CD, or an SD card or even a USB memory card, it doesn't really matter. Now here is that real person I told you about. Well, thank you very much. No worries mate. Have a great day. As you've probably already gathered, the PlexTalk PTX1 unit is a very sophisticated but very simple unit to use. All of the buttons have been designed to be either easy to see or easy to feel. The different shapes of the buttons makes them easy to locate. As Lee suggested, with the cover on, the PTX1 unit looks simple and uncluttered. In the top left corner there are four buttons. The two buttons on the left are the tone buttons. These could also be considered as the treble and bass buttons. The two buttons to the right of the tone buttons are the volume up and volume down buttons. On the top right of the unit is a large round area where a high quality speaker is located. Just below the speaker is a small round button. This is the sleep timer button. You can set the sleep timer in increments of 15 minutes. You can set it to 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or 1 hour. Pressing this button one more time will turn off the sleep timer function. Just below the sleep timer button there is a large green slightly indented button. This is the all important on and off button. Along the bottom of the unit there are a row of six buttons. The first button is the rewind button. The second button is the play and pause button. The third button is the fast forward button. Just to the right of these buttons are two buttons that are used to jump from section to section. For instance, in a newspaper you would use these buttons to jump from header to header or from subsection to subsection. The last small button on the right is the CD eject button. On the front edge of the unit is a wide slot with a small ledge protruding from the bottom of the slot. This is where you insert the CD. The small ledge that protrudes is an important feature as it makes it easy to locate the slot for those who can't see it. Simply place the CD on top of the ledge and push the CD in gently. On the left hand edge of the unit are three items. On the left is where you would plug in your USB memory stick. In the centre is your headphone jack and on the right hand side is where you can plug in your SD memory card. One of the nice things about the PTX1 unit is its simplicity. For instance, you may be listening to a CD and change your mind and want to listen to a book that's on a memory stick. Simply plug in the memory stick and the PTX1 unit will start to look at the content on the memory stick and tell you what's there. On the back edge of the unit are two plugs. In the centre is where you would plug in your power supply. Just to the right is an Ethernet socket where you could plug in a network cable and copy content directly to the unit. You can copy up to 2 gigabytes of information. The PlexTalk PTX1 unit has many other features such as being able to set up to 10,000 bookmarks for any number of books. With an appropriate daisy book you can jump from page to page or chapter to chapter. There are far too many features to talk about. Vision Australia. Blindness and low vision services.